so let's look at another type of shift resistor which uh, i forgot actually mm. uh, rotate right and rotate left shift resistor so this is how they will look like you can see this is uh, the shift resistor representation b3 b2 b1 b0 are loaded parallelly and the output serial output is feeded back to the input again okay loading has been done parallelly but shifting is done in this fashion it's like a feedback type so from the output you are feeding it to the input here uh, these values are q3 q2 q1 q0 then you call it as rotate right shift resistor if you have similar structure but if you feed the output in this fashion this will be called as rotate left shift resistor rotate right rotate left you can see the arrow rotate right left okay here you can see rotate right means if you have 1010 feeded inside these boxes next clock pulse what will happen clock will come next clock pulse this will become 0101 because this last guy will come to the first okay this zero will come here and everyone will get shifted one one bit okay so 1010 becomes 0101 this zero will come here one will shift zero will shift one will shift So zero one zero one. Similarly, next clock pulse, second clock pulse. It will, this one will come here. Zero will shift here. One will shift. Zero will shift. One zero one zero. Likewise, it can go. So this is called right shift resistor. Similarly, you can have a uh, left shift. Uh, here you can see zero one one zero. If you have so this zero will come here. Zero will be here. One will be here, and one will be here. So that's how shifting happens. It will become one one zero one. Okay, then again this one will come here. So these all bits sh will shift. So one zero zero will be there, and this one comes here. So one it becomes. That's how it will work. So simple representation, nothing, uh, nothing complicated. I'll gi I'll give you an example uh, where you can see what kind of question can become from this kind of um, uh, circuit. Okay, rotate right or rotate uh, left. this also you can see in microprocessor application in microprocessor uh, if you shift uh, by right uh, it means divide by 2 or multiply by 2 i don't remember right now so those things uh, it's practically uh, that is how it is being used uh, let me give you an example now okay let's look at an example here so that you will get a feel how the question can be made from this uh, shift register rotate and left and right here you can see a shift resistor this is a rotate right type because the output is taken and given as the input like this it's not necessarily that the output will be taken from the end flip flop only output can be taken from anywhere as well so parallel out kind of you can think of imagine the initial value loaded to the resistor is 0110 okay initial value 0110 now the question being asked is how many clock cycles will it take so that content of resistor will be 1111 okay you have to figure out how many clock cycle it will take so that inside this your uh, your uh, output uh, your uh, uh, what the content of resistor will be 1111 so how you going to do is a uh, easier way to do with uh, with uh, using uh, table see you can take these value do the ending this is and gate this is or gate ending and or with this guy and feed it to the input you can do bit by bit but that is a slight confusion uh, it will create confusion as well as there are chances of mistake so better way to is to make a table okay so here the number of clock pulse will be written and here the content of q3 q2 q1 q0 this guy is q3 Guys, Q zero. Guys, Q two, Q one. Right. So you have to check for each pulse. So zeroth clock pulse, you have initial value. Now next clock pulse, what will happen? See, these two guys are ended. Last two guys. Last two guys are ended, and they are odd with the second guy. Right. So and I'll I'll do and one do, and with zero is zero. Zero or with one is one okay so here one will come zero one one these guys will be shifted okay this is a shift right shifting right 
okay, instead of providing the feedback directly i put some gate between and then i provided the input so that is the variation you can see this is the first clock pulse how many clock pulse we want uh, we want to see how many clock pulse it takes so that the content of the register will become 1111 so let's see second clock pulse uh, or these two guys one uh, sorry and these two guys 1.1 one, one, one is 1 one plus 0 is 1 one. one will come here 101 one, one. these guys will be shifted right okay then uh, third guy will be third up clock pulse you will have and these two guys or with one so it will come one one zero these guys will be shifted fourth clock pulse and these two guys zero or with one is one 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 like this so it takes total four clock cycles to re uh, so that the content of the register will become one 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 so answer is four clock cycles okay so that is the kind of questions you can imagine in this uh, you can have any gate xor gate and gate or gate or uh, any sort of combination can be made uh, combinational co uh, uh, elements will be included and provided as the feedback so you should be comfortable enough with this diagram and uh, you should be able to handle it uh, yeah, any question comes if any question comes okay so let me move on to some remaining topics i think universal also i'll tell you uh, it's it's kind of boring i i really don't like registers they are feel boring but um, they are necessary i mean they are used in your register uh, microprocessors and all that's why they are uh, important i think okay so yeah let's move on